The World as I See It is a collection of essays and articles, written by renowned physicist Albert Einstein. Originally published in 1934, it offers readers a glimpse into Einstein's thoughts on various subjects beyond science. Here is a brief summary of the book. In the book, Einstein shares his views on a wide range of topics, including politics, religion, education, war, pacifism, and the human condition. He delves into his philosophy of life and reflects on his experiences and observations. Einstein presents his thoughts in a clear and concise manner, allowing readers to gain insights into his worldview. Einstein's essays cover diverse themes. He emphasizes the importance of individualism and independent thinking, urging readers to question authority and not blindly accept prevailing beliefs. He advocates for the pursuit of knowledge and the role of science in advancing society. Here is a broader explanation of this concept. 1. Challenging established beliefs. Einstein encourages individuals to question and challenge existing beliefs and ideas. He believes that progress comes from a willingness to critically examine the status quo, and not blindly accept established norms. Independent thinking allows for the exploration of new possibilities and the discovery of alternative perspectives. 2. Freedom of thought. Einstein values the freedom of thought as a fundamental human right. He advocates for the unrestricted pursuit of knowledge and the ability to form one's own opinions. According to him, intellectual freedom is crucial for scientific and artistic creativity, as well as for the development of individual potential. 3. Rejecting conformity and conformity, Einstein cautions against blindly conforming to societal pressures and norms. He believes that conformity stifles individuality and inhibits the progress of society. By encouraging independent thinking, he promotes the idea that individuals should remain true to their own convictions and ideas, even if they go against the grain. 4. Cultivating creativity and imagination, Einstein recognizes the power of imagination and creativity in driving innovation and advancing society. He encourages individuals to tap into their creative potential and think beyond conventional boundaries. Independent thinking allows for the exploration of new ideas, the formulation of unique solutions to problems, and the creation of novel works of art and scientific theories. 5. Self-reliance and personal responsibility Einstein emphasizes that individuals should take responsibility for their own thoughts, actions, and decisions. Independent thinking requires a sense of self-reliance and the willingness to take risks. He believes that individuals should not solely rely on external authorities or group think, but should trust their own judgments and beliefs. In summary, Einstein's emphasis on individualism and independent thinking underscores the importance of critical thought, intellectual freedom, and personal responsibility. He encourages individuals to challenge established beliefs, think creatively, and not conform to societal pressures. By valuing independent thinking, Einstein believes that individuals can contribute to the progress of society and realize their full potential. Regarding politics, Einstein discusses his support for socialism and criticizes capitalism, arguing for a more equitable distribution of wealth and resources. He also expresses his concerns about the rise of nationalism and the dangers of militarism. Here is a broader explanation of these concepts as discussed by Einstein. 1. Support for Socialism Einstein expresses his support for socialism as an alternative economic and political system. He argues for a more equitable distribution of wealth and resources, advocating for a society where the means of production are owned and managed collectively for the benefit of all. Einstein sees socialism as a means to address economic inequality, promote social justice, and ensure the well-being of individuals and communities. 2. Criticism of Capitalism Einstein is critical of capitalism, which he views as a system that perpetuates economic disparities and fosters exploitation. He highlights the inherent inequalities and class divisions that arise under capitalism, where the pursuit of profit often takes precedence over the welfare of individuals and society as a whole. Einstein questions the sustainability of a system driven solely by market forces and profit motives, advocating for a more socially conscious approach to economic organization. 3. Concerns about nationalism Einstein expresses concerns about the rise of nationalism, viewing it as a dangerous ideology that promotes division and conflict. 
He sees nationalism as a form of tribalism that separates people based on arbitrary boundaries, fostering animosity and inhibiting cooperation among nations. Einstein believes that humanity should transcend narrow nationalistic interests and work towards global cooperation and understanding. 4. Dangers of Militarism Einstein strongly criticizes militarism and the arms race, emphasizing the devastating consequences of war. He warns about the destructive power of advanced weaponry and the risks it poses to humanity's survival. Einstein advocates for disarmament and the pursuit of peaceful resolutions to conflicts, urging nations to prioritize diplomacy and cooperation over aggression and military buildup. 5. Humanistic Values Throughout his discussions on politics, Einstein emphasizes humanistic values such as compassion, justice, and the pursuit of the common good. He argues for a political and economic system that prioritizes the well-being and dignity of all individuals. Einstein believes that society should be guided by principles that promote fairness, equality, and the protection of human rights. In summary, Einstein's views on politics, as presented in The World as I See It, reflect his support for socialism as a means to address economic inequality, his criticism of capitalism, concerns about nationalism and the dangers of militarism. He calls for a more equitable and just society, emphasizing humanistic values and the importance of cooperation and peaceful coexistence. Einstein's perspectives reflect his vision for a world that prioritizes the welfare of individuals and promotes social harmony. In matters of religion, Einstein explores his views on the relationship between science and spirituality. He expresses a sense of awe and wonder for the natural world, considering it a source of deep religious and philosophical inspiration. Here is a broader explanation of this concept. 1. Awe and wonder for the natural world. Einstein expresses a profound sense of awe and wonder when contemplating the natural world. He perceives the intricate workings of the universe, the laws of physics, and the beauty of nature as sources of deep inspiration. For Einstein, this sense of awe and wonder serves as a spiritual and philosophical foundation, evoking a profound reverence for the mysteries and complexities of existence. 2. Science and spirituality as complementary. Einstein doesn't see science and spirituality as conflicting domains, but rather as complementary facets of human understanding. While science seeks to unravel the mechanisms and laws governing the natural world, Spirituality explores the deeper meanings and existential questions beyond empirical observations. He acknowledges that both science and spirituality have the potential to provide valuable insights into the nature of reality and our place within it. 3. The Limitations of Scientific Knowledge While Einstein is a staunch advocate for scientific inquiry, he recognizes that scientific knowledge is inherently limited. He argues that there are profound aspects of existence that science may never fully grasp, such as the ultimate nature of reality or the existence of a transcendent power. Einstein suggests that there are questions beyond the reach of scientific methods, and these unanswerable mysteries leave room for spiritual contemplation and philosophical speculation. 4. Ethical and Moral Considerations Einstein believes that the exploration of spirituality and religious philosophy should not be divorced from ethical and moral considerations. He emphasizes that genuine spirituality should inspire individuals to live ethically, treat others with compassion, and work towards the betterment of society. In this sense, Einstein sees spirituality as a force that can guide and shape human behavior, contributing to a more just and harmonious world. 5. Personal Interpretations and Religious Tolerance Einstein's views on religion are highly individualistic, and he highlights the importance of personal interpretations and experiences in matters of faith. He values religious tolerance and respects the diverse ways in which individuals approach spirituality. Einstein argues for an inclusive perspective that embraces the multiplicity of religious beliefs and seeks common ground in the pursuit of universal ethical values. In summary, Einstein's exploration of science and spirituality in matters of religion reveals a nuanced perspective. He finds inspiration and a sense of religious awe in the natural world, considers science and spirituality as complementary realms, acknowledges the limitations of scientific knowledge, emphasizes ethical considerations, and advocates for religious tolerance. Einstein's views reflect a profound appreciation 
for the mysteries of existence and the multifaceted nature of human understanding. Einstein also touches upon the significance of education and its role in fostering critical thinking, creativity, and ethical development. He discusses the value of a well-rounded education that goes beyond the acquisition of knowledge and encourages the cultivation of curiosity and imagination. Here is a broader explanation of this concept. 1. Nurturing critical thinking Einstein recognizes that education should aim to cultivate critical thinking skills in individuals. He emphasizes the importance of encouraging students to question, analyze, and evaluate information and ideas. By fostering a mindset of critical inquiry, education enables individuals to think independently, challenge assumptions, and arrive at well-reasoned conclusions. 2. Stimulating Creativity Einstein believes that education should not be limited to the transmission of knowledge, but should also foster creativity. He sees creativity as a vital component of human progress, and believes that education should provide opportunities for students to explore their imagination, think divergently, and develop innovative solutions to problems. By nurturing creativity, education enables individuals to contribute to scientific, artistic, and societal advancements. 3. Ethical Development Einstein emphasizes that education should not only focus on intellectual growth but also on ethical development. He believes that education should instill a sense of moral responsibility and promote values such as compassion, empathy, and social justice. By integrating ethics into education, individuals are equipped to make informed, responsible decisions and contribute positively to society. 4. Holistic Development Einstein advocates for an education that goes beyond rote learning and takes a holistic approach to the development of individuals. He emphasizes the need to balance intellectual, emotional, and moral growth. Education should not only impart knowledge but also nurture character, emotional intelligence, and interpersonal skills. This holistic approach prepares individuals to navigate life's challenges, cultivate meaningful relationships, and contribute to the well being of the community. 5. Lifelong Learning Einstein views education as a lifelong process rather than a mere phase of formal schooling. He believes that individuals should maintain a spirit of curiosity and continue learning throughout their lives. This perspective reflects the idea that education is not confined to classrooms but extends to personal experiences, self-study, and engagement with the world. Lifelong learning fosters personal growth, adaptability, and a deeper understanding of oneself and the world. In summary, Einstein's view on education highlights its role in developing critical thinking, fostering creativity, and nurturing ethical values. He advocates for an education that goes beyond the acquisition of knowledge and promotes holistic development. By emphasizing the significance of education, Einstein underscores its transformative power in shaping individuals and society. Throughout the book, Einstein's pacifist beliefs are evident as he advocates for peaceful resolutions to conflicts and condemns war and violence. He reflects on the devastating impact of world war and warns about the dangers of future conflicts. The world, as I see it, provides readers with a glimpse into Einstein's intellectual and philosophical musings beyond his scientific achievements. It reveals his humanitarian concerns, intellectual curiosity, and his desire to contribute to a better world. The book offers readers a unique opportunity to explore the mind of one of the greatest scientists of all time. Here are some important phrases and ideas mentioned by Einstein in his book. The most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and science. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existence. Imagination is more important than knowledge. For knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world. The world as I see it makes no sense if I did not look for the underlying order of things. A human being is part of the whole called by us universe, a part limited in time and space. He experiences himself, his thoughts, and feelings as something separated from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of his consciousness. The most incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it is comprehensible. The value of a man should be seen in what he gives, 
and not in what he is able to receive. Nationalism is an infantile disease. It is the measles of mankind. The true value of a human being is determined primarily by the measure, and the sense in which he has attained liberation from the self. The pursuit of truth and beauty is a sphere of activity in which we are permitted to remain children all our lives.